Welcome to Drive Time with KJ. I am your host, KJ Bell. This is the show where I get in my car and I start to drive through the paradise that is Los Angeles and I complain about stuff. Oh, look, a squirrel. How cute. Maybe TikTok's right. Maybe I do have ADHD. Today we're talking about why middle school is awful. So prepare for some flashbacks. If you go to a place like I did, like in elementary school, you're just in the same classroom, right? And then you get to middle school and it's a bigger building and you are constantly changing classes. And it's like, it's, that's a bit of a culture shock because you have to move around and you have to carry all your stuff with you. So I swear I had back problems from, the, from that time still to this day. And you also, also means that you have to deal with more teachers. And since you're dealing with more teachers, the odds of you getting a teacher who is terrible are higher. And if you have a teacher that is terrible, it's just like, it just, the later they are in the day, the more it ruins your day because like, you're just dreading going into their classroom. Like if you have a terrible teacher, I hope it's at least in your first class or two so that you get it over with, right? And you're also, since you're in more classrooms, you're also, there's also more opportunities for you to just run into annoying people, right? Like. At least when you're in elementary school, that yes, you're with the same group of people all day and some of them will be annoying, but at least you know how to adjust for those assholes. You have to adjust more often in middle school. Like it's just constant, like, ugh, ugh, where am I? Which, which group of assholes am I dealing with now? Huh? Which one? Huh? What? Where am I? Oh, this teacher that I hate? Oh, this person that I can't stand that sits behind me in this class? Keep clear. Why, why are we keeping that spot clear? One of the things that I remember being the biggest shock was like, no recess? There's no, no, nobody told me about that. And I, I was shocked. Yeah, and sure, we got, we got, there was lunch and then you could wander around outside afterward and like run, like literally just run, but there were no swings or anything. Not a swing to be seen. Nope, you can wait for a light, sir. Thank you. Oh, that's where the magic castle is. Oh, right, it's, it's Halloween, is this weekend? I was like, there's a guy dressed as a Roman just walking down the street in a toga. But, so it's either Halloween or we're near Hollywood Boulevard because that sort of thing happens on Hollywood Boulevard all the time. You wanna see discount, you wanna see discount, like arachnid guy? Go to Hollywood Boulevard. You wanna see metal dude instead of Iron Man? Go to Hollywood Boulevard. Another thing they don't warn you about, like I genuinely enjoyed PE in elementary school, right? Cause you'd have like, there'd be dodgeball and there'd be the parachute and there'd be those scooters that would claim at least one set of fingers every time you used them. But it was fun. And I just assumed, oh great, PE, middle school, it'll be the same. No, no, they lure you in with that. It's like, we're gonna parachute some fun in elementary school and then we're gonna torture you in middle school. Run laps. I demand more laps. And and just, ugh. Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Just awful. And I found myself on one of those lovely streets here where if another car comes this way, it's like, am I gonna get, are we gonna scrape ourselves along this way? Cool. Oh no. I didn't realize I was, oh no. I have made an error. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. I might die. I might die, but here we go. So you've just, you've gone through the years of elementary school. You've got, you've arrived at the top of the food chain and then you go to middle school and you're knocked right back down. You are nothing. You are garbage as a sixth grader or a sixlet as we called them. And we were called where I went. And then like in the shortest amount of time, you, you're back up at the top of the food chain. And then immediately again in high school, you're a freshman and you're done. Yeah, sorry about it. That's just what happens. That's a, the natural order of life. It's awful. Can I go? St I can go straight here. Except there is a FedEx truck very much in the way. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going. Huh. I've never gone this way before. Ooh, that, that looks like nice apartments. Where am I? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, I know where I am. Yep. Yeah, we're good. We're cool. We're good. See, the thing you have to do when you move to somewhere like Los Angeles is you have to, um, <clears throat> you 
you either have to do what they did in the olden times and get like a, the you hear about the Thomas Guide a lot, which was like a book of maps and things, or you um, become a rideshare driver for a few months and then you learn your way around the city quite well. Although I may have made an error going this way because there aren't a whole lot of lights on this street as far as I recall, um, which means I'm not gonna be able to check my script. So, oh, hello. Did you, can you see me? Hi, hello, hi. And see, now you're gonna get through this yellow light and I'm gonna stop, even though I was just complaining about not being able to read my scripts. But that's not the, you don't know that. You don't know I needed a red light. We all think that we know so much in middle school too, like, but we're just, we're just, we're just pricks. All of us are pricks, especially as eighth graders. Every single one of us was awful as an eighth grader. I taught middle school for a little while, right? And just eighth graders, are, every single one of them is terrible. Not every day. Not every day. Some, some days some of them are fine. But at least once a week, every single one of them will have a moment where you're like, God, I hate you. God, you're awful. You're such a jerk. And don't give me the whole, well, it's a hard time for them. I know. I was there. We all were there. That doesn't make those assholes special. No. Just because I was a jerk means that they have to be a jerk to me now? No, that's not how this works. And if you are currently in middle school and you don't think you're an asshole and you are thinking that I'm mean or whatever, you're gonna say, say some, some comment behind your keyboard, just kind of prove them a point. And you will grow out of your prickness, some of you. Some of you will just be jerks for the rest of your life because that's how life works. Kind of a depressing thought, but truth. I don't understand why we're stopped here like this. This is not a, this shouldn't be a busy street, but it is apparently. And of course the big one, big reason middle school is awful, puberty. Puberty hits and things start dropping and sprouting and growing and it just, it's gross. You're gross, we're gross, everybody's gross. Everybody starts smelling, there is hair everywhere, and your face is oily and just super gross, and just everything is gross. It's just a awkward, awkward time. Everything is gross, and you feel gross, and you want it to be over, but it won't be for years, and the entire time your voice is doing this, it's just terrible. And all of this is happening as hormones begin to flood your body, and you start to become attracted to whoever you are attracted to. So at a time when you would like to be involving yourself with the people you find attractive, you feel you're least attractive. And if that isn't a, a, just, just a terrible, terrible irony, a cruel irony of nature, I don't know what is. You wanna be impressive, but you are literally the most awkward you have ever been or will ever be. So, um, I guess that's it for this episode of Drive Time. Why middle school is awful. If you have reasons I didn't cite for why middle school is awful, um, leave a comment. I like seeing those. And if you are in middle school right now, my condolences. It will eventually end and it will be better. You will grow, you will blossom into something that is not what you are now. You are in the stage of life, you are the, you are in the chrysalis, which is the thing that the butter, the, the butterfly comes out of, that the caterpillar forms. You are melting, because that's what happens, basically, to a caterpillar. They melt. Did, you, did we know this? You are melting into this pile of goop, and you shall emerge eventually as a beautiful butterfly. Or, you know, a, a butterfly. Not all butterflies are beautiful. But you shall emerge. I'm not making this any better, <laughs> So like the video, subscribe to the Chanel, follow me on all of the things that you can follow me on, at that KJ Bell. And um, yeah, oh, this, this is, I, I did, I chose, I chose poorly going this way. Look at all this construction. At least they're doing something. It's not just cones. They are actually, I see them, they are doing things. So that's nice. Um, so yeah, may your drive be better than mine. But like if you're if you're if you're upset about my jokes, yeah, you kind of find a mirror, find a mirror, look at it, and say, "Why? <laughs> Why am I like this?"